in the final days leading up to his untimely passing on June 10, 2001. Mike Mincer, renowned for his contributions to bodybuilding and the high-intensity training philosophy, faced health challenges related to his heart. His dedication to fitness and training had left an indelible mark on the bodybuilding community, but health issues cast a shadow over his later years. Tragically, the narrative of loss deepened with the passing of Mike's brother, Ray Mincer, in the same month. The exact date of Ray's death was reported as June 12, 2001. The close proximity of these events intensified the somber atmosphere within the bodybuilding community. Both brothers had made significant contributions to the sport, and their sudden departure marked the end of an era. The poignant timing of these losses adds a layer of complexity to Mike Mincer's legacy. The completion of the filming of Mike Mincer's hit exercise video on June 9th, just a day before his death, takes on profound significance. It served as a posthumous glimpse into the dedication and discipline that defined his life. The delayed release of the DVD in 2008 further solidified its status as a tribute to Mike Mincer's enduring influence on bodybuilding. Serving as a lasting testament to his impact even after his passing. Three separate workouts. Workout number one, viewer, you may recall, was chest and back. Workout number two was legs with leg extensions, leg press, leg curls, and calf raises. Workout number three was the lateral deltoid, the bent over lateral curls, triceps, and press downs. Workout number four, as described in Heavy Duty 2, Mind and Body, my magnum opus, if you will, uh, includes legs. Legs are part of the fourth workout. The routine is structured as a four-day split, focusing on specific muscle groups each day with a strategic selection of exercises. Day one, chest and back. Chest, pec, deck, and incline press. Back, nautilus pullover, superset with reverse grip, lat pull downs. Finishing with deadlifts. Day two, legs. Leg extension superset with leg press. Followed with leg curls and calf raises. Day three, shoulders and arms. Shoulders, lateral raises followed by bent over laterals. Arms, barbell curls, tricep press downs, and ending with dips. Day four, legs. Leg extensions, squats, leg curls, and calf raises. Each workout involves a warm-up set followed by just one set per exercise, taken to full momentary muscular failure. The intensity is emphasized through the use of supersets and compound movements. The four workouts are spaced with at least four to six days in between to allow for maximum recovery. This routine embodies Mincer's belief in the efficiency of brief, intense workouts, emphasizing the importance of reaching muscular failure to stimulate optimal growth. The strategic exercise selection targets major muscle groups, ensuring a comprehensive approach to full body development. The tragic loss of Mike and Ray Mincer sent shockwaves through the bodybuilding community, marking the end of an era and leaving an indelible void that resonates to this day. The Mincer brothers, both influential figures in the fitness world, contributed significantly to the evolution of bodybuilding with their revolutionary high-intensity training philosophy. Mike, a former Mr. Olympia competitor, and Ray, winner of the 1979 Mr. America competition, brought passion, innovation, and a dedication to excellence. Their untimely deaths in June 2001 not only robbed the bodybuilding community of two exceptional talents, but also left a lasting impact on those who admired and followed their teachings. Despite the sadness that lingers, their legacy endures in the principles they championed and the countless individuals they inspired to pursue fitness with intensity and purpose.
If you enjoyed the video and the information provided, please check out more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my online store for heavy duty and other Mike Mincer designed t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, and more. The link will be in the description. Train like Mike.